coming to the last part of the webinar which is to look into uh, the EST simulation workflow of how TVS diodes can be simulated in XF and this is a four step process first step being to import the CAD model into the software and next would be to import the TVS diode netlist from the manufacturer and place it in the right location create an ESD simulation and after the simulation is complete view the results to uh, check the required outputs and now I would like to uh, transit to the XF solver so here we have the same model which is imported into uh, the XFTTD software and here we have a floating antenna so this model is modified for demonstration purposes and we have included this floating antenna as part of that and zooming close into the components here is the front end with the series capacitor shunt inductor and the resistor which is used as a surrogate for the front end ic and the definitions for these components are available under circuit component definitions where the rated voltage and currents are specified for these different components which allows or notifies the solver to monitor the voltages and currents across these component and to run an est simulation we are making use of the simplified est con representation to which a hard current source is connected and the other end of the gun is grounded and the definition of this current source can be accessed through the circuit component definitions where we are not using a resistance across this and we are using the human body model waveform to excite the structure and the waveform can be accessed from the waveform definitions So, yeah, as you can see, this is the same waveform that we saw earlier in the presentation. And to add a TVS diode to this, we can do that through the circuit components and adding a new netlist component definition. And I would like to place this netlist component first in my CAD model and I would place that between the antenna feed and the ground and name this as TVS diode. Oh, that's a small guy. And this is not a port. So I would uncheck this and clicking done. Now we have the component placed to load the netlist we can access the netlist component definition in the circuit component definitions tab and import the netlist and here i have the netlist uh, provided by one of the manufacturers which i would be opening and you can view or edit this netlist so this is right now in the view mode and you can actually go and edit the netlist if required and this uh, pretty much has the TVS diode into the simulation space and the next step would be to create an FTTD simulation and that can be done through the simulation tab, where we can create the FTTD simulation setting up a parameter sweep if required to excite different points on the CAD geometry and check uh, the ports on which the s parameters needs to be computed and specify frequency of interest if steady state data needs to be collected and finally uh, specify a termination criteria 